In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use a two keyframed aim point system. We use aim point to keep the head pointed at an object or a certain area in this set. We're going to set one keyframe here, and we're going to imagine that the shot is that this car drives to this position and stops. The shot will be from a lower angle than this, going along, following the car, and then pivoting it around this point. So the first keyframe we're going to set up is the aim point keyframe here. And we'll do that by putting the playhead at 1 and adding aim point. It's off the screen here, but believe me, it says add aim point down there. And there it goes. It shows up at the top. And then like we did in our other tutorial, we move the crosshairs by using pan and tilt. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to measure the distance from the nodal of the camera to this object. So I'm walking in the set with a tape measure. And like I said, we have another uh, tutorial that shows how this is done. And this is about 24 inches. So I'm going to hit this tape measure icon, type in 24. And now I have a keyframe on aim point on frame one. Now I want to imagine that the car is going to drive and stop and it's going to take about four seconds to do that. So I'll drag the playhead down to four seconds. And now, again these aren't the real keyframes for the shot they're just getting the aim point registered. So I don't really need to move the camera around much I'm just going to uh, pan over And then tilt up. And pan over. Okay, so. Okay, so now I'm going to measure this point. Okay, that's about 31 inches. So again, I click that. 31 and boom so now I've got these two keyframes now I notice that there's a there's an ease in and ease out on this and I don't really want to have an ease at the beginning I want this aim point moving right away so I'm going to solo that click on that keyframe and hit the um, no curve linear keyframe so it's gonna really boom start going fast and then slow down so it's almost like we cut into the shot and the car is already moving and we're tracking along with it. Okay, so now that we've got these two positions, we need to do something um, very particularly. We need to go back to one, hit the go to keyframe, or go to frame there, and I'm going to also hit the zeros on pan and tilt. This should actually point me right back. There it is at our first spot. And now that we're in this mode, I should be able to jog around and the camera's gonna stay locked on that spot. So here we go. I wanna move the camera down lower. You can see we're locked on that aim point. Okay, now I wanna go east-west a little bit, like I'm getting sort of behind it. We're following it as, as it's speeding along. Okay, so this will be our start position. Maybe I'll tilt down a little bit more like that. So we're kind of catching up with it. And then we need to set our focus. Okay. So now that we've got focus and all of our other positions, I will hit the set keyframe. I make sure I'm on frame one. So that's going to keyframe everything. Okay. So now I'm going to move the playhead down to our final keyframe. And again, I'm going to do the zero on pan and tilt. And it looks like we're good there. So let me, whoop, let me set that again. Oh, second time's a charm. Okay, so now we are pointed right there. Look at that. 
and I'm going to go ahead and drive um, east-west, which in this case is kind of putting me generally in the right direction. And I want this to kind of wrap around to the front of the car. So now I'm going to track forward. Okay, so something like that. Maybe we'll go even a little lower to look kind of cool. Kind of scraping the ground there. And let's see. Something like this. Maybe even like that. And we will set focus here. Oh, wrong way. I always go the wrong way first some kind of special rule. And I don't want this to actually end at four seconds. What I want to have happen here is that we track along and at four seconds the aim point stops, but we keep moving another few seconds. So we'll actually go out here, maybe we'll go to eight seconds here like this, and we're going to set our key for this final position here. So. There we go, I just keyed it. And now we can upload the move and try to go ahead and we'll shoot a test backwards. What the heck? So this this reverses the test direction. We know we're in our end position. Shoot it three frames per second. All right, let's let that go. Okay, great. Uh, now one thing we didn't do is I didn't show what all these other, oh wow. Okay, so there's no eases on that. <laughs> this is interesting. I didn't check to see what my other curves were looking like, and I didn't realize that I had switched off of the auto keys when I set up the move. So this is not a big deal. I'm going to hide the aim point with everything else showing. Let's just um, open this up and go ahead and I'm just going to select all those keys, put eases on them, and these keys, and put eases on them. So now we have a little bit of a softer move. In fact, this the one at the end, I'll put a feather. Go ahead and really soften that out. Okay, now let's go ahead and, and shoot it again. Now that we realize uh, the error there, my the error of my ways, I'm going to just separate these a little bit more so I can see them all. Okay, great. So I'm going to upload the move. One thing I did notice as the camera was moving through is that we really got out of focus in here. So let's drive there and fix the focus. Uh, also, um, notice that focus is this gray. Let's change the color on that. Let's make it a little brighter, maybe a yellow. Okay. So now we're going to be able to see focus a little bit better. I'm going to solo focus. So there it is. But I, I want to get us looking better right in here. So how do we move to this frame on all of our motors when there's aim point involved, which is going to reorient the head? Well, the first thing to do is hit the aim point first, and then go ahead and move down the line. Oh, that's interesting because the curve changes a little bit. So did this positioning. So, but this is good. We can check what's happening there with the focus. Okay, so that's where we want to be there. Let me add a key for that. So that's interesting. That changed quite a bit. 
I guess because we get closer to it and then further away. That makes sense. Okay, and then I'm going to just go ahead and move down a little bit further to here. And once again, I'll kind of click the aim point, then go down the line. Okay, we'll click into this. Let's see, which way is this going to go? Wow, it's really getting very close to it. There we go. So somewhere in there. So now we want to add another keyframe way down there. Boom, it's a crazy curve. Okay, let's try somewhere in here. Again, we'll go to the aim point first. Move our way down the line. And the reason we hit the aim point first is because that's going to orient when we go to hit pan and tilt. Okay, so we're really losing focus here. Wow. It's quite dramatic move there. So we really need to come up much faster. Look at that. That's a bit nuts, huh? So let's see what happens here now that we've adjusted the focus. Um, we'll upload the move. I'm going to try the option click, which turns the head white, and I'll drag it back to one like that. Now the rig will go back on the line. Okay. So let's shoot another test and see how this works. This time forward. Okay, let's play that back. Make this a little bit bigger. Okay, a little bit of a jump at the beginning. Moves. Stays right there. So you can see how that aim point really helps smooth out the ending without having to do any extra panning and tilting. All I had to do was move the camera. Nice. And if we look at the aim point there, we see. Let me turn off the focus and maybe we we'll look at something else like track and east west there. Okay. So as we look at the move here that we just tested, look at the test move, we see the head is tracking along. Then we get to this keyframe, which locks it, boom, spins the head around, just like that. So that's an example of two keyframes being used in Aimpoint.